Hey everybody, I thought I would do a video on iOS 8 to let you know everything that has been in rumors so far. I have an article from Redmond Pi uh, that I will link in the description for you guys, but I'm going to be going over all of the info here in the video, so you probably won't even need to visit the link anyways. Um, so these are all the new features and stuff that you can expect in iOS 8 along with the new iPhone and iDevices coming in June. Um, before I start anything, I'm going to go through this whole article and give you the new features and things you can expect with iOS 8, but it is very likely they will release a beta uh, in June at the WWDC in about two weeks, so stay tuned to my channel. Be sure to subscribe because I will be uploading a new uh, video um, on the review of iOS 8 there. I'll have a hands-on review. I'll download it, install it on one of my iPhones or my iPad, and just stick around so you can see all the new features hands-on. Um, I know you guys like that, so be sure to subscribe for that. So now moving directly into the features of iOS 8, uh, what you can expect is a new uh, design is going to remain about the same as it is now with iOS 7. As you can see, some leaked photos have shown new apps like a health book app, preview, text edit, and tips. Uh, it seems like the new design is going to really just be essentially the same. The new apps in iOS 8 are going to be much, much more integrated into the health of the person as well as the actual physical um, knowledge of the person. So it's going to be more integrated into daily life. As you can see, Health Book um, will be an app that will focus on heart rate, hydration, nutrition. Along with that, the new iPhone 6 is supposed to have a heart rate monitor in the fingerprint center, which is very, very cool. Um, and the tips app, as you can see in the new design, will be more of something that you can help with your mind and how to use the device. Uh, also, there will be a dedicated iTunes radio app. That's nothing really that new. They're just removing it from the music app and putting it into a single standalone app as it was kind of hidden away. And some people would like to use that in place of Spotify. Uh, Game Center uh, probably will be removed. It is basically a means to be like Xbox Live. Um, and although some people have well received it, they're probably going to remove it from the home screen as it can be a bit of a nuisance. Um, split screen multitasking, if you don't know what that is, it'll be basically on the iPad um, for someone to have two apps open on either side of the screen. It'll allow you to have more than one app open at a time and be able to see both on the computer screen of the iPad, similar to a computer, how it works in that regard. HD audio, because Apple has picked up Beats um, Electronics, they will probably be adding HD audio to all of their devices and possibly the headphones. There will also be more improvements in general to messages, notifications, voice memos, and CarPlay, just in general to make sure that they work a little better, a little faster, all that good stuff. Um, obviously, they will be upping the new tips and tools in the device as they do every year. Another cool feature that I love is they're probably going to include Siri um, to have Shazam. And Shazam is a music identification service. It allows you to see what songs are when they play you just simply click listen and your phone will tell you what song is playing in the background which is very cool um, it, it'll be great to have that integrated into Siri iOS 8 is also supposed to integrate with the iWatch which is a wearable uh, technology that Apple is working on competing with Google Glass widgets may also be in the control center there's a, these are a lot of concepts and you can watch the videos but basically, if you know what the control center is, when you swipe up from the bottom of your device, you will be able to have widgets there in the control center where you have your volume controls. Maybe you'll have Facebook controls now, other more integration. Um, iOS 8 on Android, basically they will probably offer new lock screens. You could possibly draw a new, uh, a new pattern on your iOS 8 device, similar to the lock screen of Android. Um, and finally, iOS beta will be released at the WWDC. Be sure to subscribe. I will be doing a review, a hands-on review on one of my devices and uploading it the day it is released on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, also, be sure um, to stay tuned for the iOS 8.1 and 8 concept releases, which I will do a review of later in the year when they are released as well. And be sure to stick around and follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel. All great ways to stay up to date with me and what I post. And be sure to stay tuned for iOS 8. I'll have a lot of reviews, a lot of Apple product reviews in the next coming months, so subscribe, stay tuned. And if you're interested in getting paid iOS or Android apps for free, check out the description. I have more links to get a lot of stuff for free in the description, so check those out. And I will catch you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace.